Hey there, uh, I just want to show a different way of putting together uh, the core for a, a multi-lock uh, C-series padlock. Um, these come with the Bible and the plug completely separated, which is uh, kind of annoying to put back together if you don't have uh, specialized tools for it. Um, this would be a lot easier if you if you made or, or purchased a tool. You can uh, use like a kind of a pinning shoe thing or you can 3, 3D print um, a, a sort of a partial lock body that you can slide this into that'll come up and kind of hold the plug in place. Um, but if you if you don't have any of those, if you don't want to make something like that, um, the you can put it together just without. Um, the, the common method I've seen is to, um, without the key in, you, you balance all of the drivers, just stand them up in here, and then you load the springs in the, in the Bible and just kind of slowly push it together. That works. Um, I actually haven't done it. I, I don't know, didn't feel like doing it the first time I gutted this, and I came up with a different method, and so that's the one I'm going to show. I'm going to use a follower instead. Um, the, the issue with these is you can't just load them in the lock body and use a follower like normal because the Bible has this little backstop on it right here. And that's that's great that it mates up with the plug and keeps it in place, but it's annoying because you can't use a follower. Um, you What you need is, is a follower that is smaller than the plug, but not too small. You could, if it was a little bit less in diameter, you could kind of come in from over the top and just kind of wiggle in there and deal with the looseness on the uh, on the drivers. But I don't have anything like that. I have one that's just right, and I have one that's way too small. So this is this is the way I'm uh, I'm doing it. Basically, what we're going to be doing is loading all the springs in here, and then I'm going to clamp it up, um, and I'm going to have it tipped away. I'm going to have it tipped back like this. Um, so when you come in with the follower, you can you can drop the driver right on there and it'll just sit in place and then slide it in and work the follower forward. And then I'm also, in addition to being tipped back, I'm going to have it tipped away a little bit. And that's because once once all the drivers are loaded in, we're going to do the, the standard method of displacing the follower with the plug. And then I'm going to rotate this back. And the tricky part is to keep the inner driver pins from falling out when you rotate it. And so by turning it away, they're not pointed quite as straight down. Um, and the last piece is I'm using, I will be using a shim that's kind of bent down a little bit. You need the shim because there's a gap, gap right there uh, between the follower and the plug. Maybe you can see it um, that the the drivers can inner drivers can fit uh, can fall into. So I've blabbed enough. Let's do it. I'm also a little jittery today. Uh, I probably not the best day to be filming. I I had a an extra cup of coffee, my my luxury coffee. So now I got a little bit of jitters going on, but that's all right. So I'm gonna put it in the vise. And clamp it tight enough, but not too tight, because you have to hold the plug in place while you undo the vise. Um, here we go. So I'm going to turn this so you can see a little bit better. Where are my tweezers? There are my tweezers. So you can see the, the follower just holds that in place and then you can kind of steer it a little bit by rotating the follower back and forth and pushing it with the sides of the notch. This method is definitely slower than the balancing method, but it's an alternative. It works. It's definitely easier to do it this way if you have the key. Um, if you don't have a key, this way is pretty hard because it limits your options uh, as far as 
plug orientation is you slide it back in there without the key there are more places for the the drivers to pop into so now once that's in you rotate the, the follower a little bit put your shim in there slide it all the way back till it hits the back stop there we go and then you can see the reason the reason I have this bent is because because that backstop is there the you can't slide the shim out the back along with the plug and so that's that's put there to kind of deflect downwards so when you you slide in and you hit these this part of the the front of the plug um, it won't get caught it'll uh, it'll slide right over okay plugs on flat the shim and then you just rotate pull out the key and now it's in place uh, the, the drivers are keeping the plug from moving laterally uh, and all you have to do is pinch it down a little bit to keep it from popping up and then of course this is an MT5 plus it'd be a lot easier to demonstrate uh, with uh, like a classic or an interactive core that I wouldn't have to mess around with sidebar springs but that's all right it's honestly not too bad that goes back in the body and the hard parts over now we just have to reassemble this um, it's really not too bad first thing you got to do is put the tailpiece back on and you'll notice uh, it has it has a definite orientation the square piece goes away from from this hole and we'll see that that's because it engages with these and oh also if you're really careful when you slide this out of the body when you're disassembling it the first time you can pull this off in one piece and then it's really easy to put back on but if you if you didn't do that you're not sure how it goes back together I'll show you it's um, that square piece mates with that little notch it sits right there and that's actually what cams everything open so that's that's why it has to be in that orientation so this guy goes here spring goes in between and these are greasy too so I had it sitting on a rag over there oops trying to do this through the camera instead of just looking around that drops in and everything's aligned or almost aligned oops coffee fingers coffee fingers there we go so now that's on there test your key uh, of course the tailpiece I should have screwed it on but in the interest of saving time I didn't screw it on it's fine and then we need our dust cover this goes on kind of slides back and forth like that with the spring that looks a whole lot like a driver spring but they're different so pay attention And then this slides back into back into the body. Tighten this down real quick. And there we go. It's reassembled. Throw your shackle back in. It's good to go. That wasn't so bad. All right. Have a good day.